good sense, innocence, crip and unkind. Dead kings, many things I can't define. Occasions, persuasions, clutter your mind. Incense and peppermints, the color of time. Subscribe now, you got nothing to lose. With this channel, you can't lose. This is the guitar lesson for Incense and Peppermints by Strawberry Alarm Clock from GuitarMadeEasy.com. First thing you want to do is make sure that your guitar is in standard E tuning. This song was a special request for someone. Um, I, I uh, wrote it down and I couldn't find your name, so sorry, uh, but this is still for you, so enjoy. Also, once again, if I do do a song request for you, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and share my videos with your friends. We got five parts to this song, so I'm just gonna go through each part and show you how to play it, and you piece them together. The song starts off like this. It's basically E minor. E minor again. And then D major. And then we go into the second part of the song, which is... Okay, so for the second part, what I was doing there was I was making an E minor. And then I go to an A major, and I'm going to strum it once as an A major. Then I take my pinky and I put that on the third fret on the B string. And then I take it off. And then I go back to E minor and then C. The strumming pattern for that is this. So here's the strumming pattern, guys. And that's kind of like the signature part of the song. You play that a bunch, and then we go into our chorus of the song, which goes like this. So I was making an E minor up here. This is an E minor bar chord up at the 7th and 9th fret, based off of the A string. The fingering for that is I take my pointer finger, bar the entire 7th fret, except for this E string right there. I don't bar that. I play the A through this E string right here when I strum this chord. Like I said, I'm going to bar the entire 7th fret, but pointer finger on the 7th fret on the A string. We have our ring finger on the 9th fret on the D string, pinky on the 9th fret on the G string, and our middle finger is going to go on the 8th fret on the B string, and our pointer finger is still hitting that E string at the 7th fret. That's the first chord, that's an E minor. Move this shape down one fret, and you have a D sharp minor, or whichever way you look at it, an E flat minor. And then we have a D minor. The same shape, I'm just moving it down fret by fret, so. And now I'm going to take this shape and I'm going to move it over a string, so it's going to go like there. And that's on the 5th and 7th fret based off of the E string. This same shape, but now we move it over a string. And it actually gives us a A major chord. So pointer finger bars the entire 5th fret right there. We want to take our ring finger, put that on the 7th fret on the A string, pinky on the 7th fret on the D string, uh, middle finger on the 6th fret on the, what is that? That's the G string. And then our pointer finger still bars the B and the E on the 5th fret. So that's our A major chord. So how I strum it is I do this. Really slow.
But the beauty of this song is you really can strum it however you want. There is an acoustic guitar um, in the original recording. However, everything else, there's like a harpsichord or an organ, something uh, overshadows it. So this is just kind of like your, your backup rhythm here. Now we come to the third part of the song, which I would consider to be an interlude of the song. It's just a little bit different than the other parts. It goes like this. Back into. So what I was doing there was I was going D, G, D, and now I'm going to make an F sharp minor. How I do that is I take my pointer finger, I bar the entire second fret on uh, the entire second fret, so all strings, and we take our ring finger and put that on the fourth fret on the A string, pinky on the fourth fret on the D string. And now I'm going to take my middle finger and put that on the third fret on the D string, right behind my pinky. Then I take my pinky off the strings. Now I'm going to take my middle finger off the strings. Now I'm going to make a B7 chord. A full B7 would be like this, which you can do if you want to. It's a little bit of a complicated chord, so let's keep it easy. So when I make a B7, I'm just going to strum these three strings right here, which is the A, the D, and the G string, and it's my middle finger on the second fret on the A string, my pointer finger on the first fret on the D string, and my ring finger on the second fret on the G string. And then I'm going to go right back into the D and G. Then I do the same thing again, I go F sharp minor, and then I'm going to keep that F sharp minor, and I take my pinky off, and I have my middle finger on the third fret on the D string, just like we did before. Now I'm going to take it off, and that's where I end. Back into Incense and Peppermints. Now there's a little break, I think it's around 217 in the song, and all it is is just strumming an E, we hold it, and then we go to a D. Just kind of like the intro of the song, that's all it is, just an E minor, and then a D. And the final part I want to show you, the song has this really cool major seventh, um, I guess you could call it progression at the end of the song. It goes like this, it goes. Now how we make a major 7th chord is we take our, this is an E major 7, uh, for example, so we take our pointer finger and we put that on the 7th fret on the A string, ring finger goes on the 9th fret on the D string, we have our middle finger is going to go on the 8th fret on the G string, our pinky is going to go on the 9th fret on the B string, and this E is played by our pointer finger which is barring the entire 7th fret. But I'm only really hitting the A through the B string. And then I slide it down two frets to, to make a D, major seven. Up two frets, back to the E. Not too bad, I hope you liked it. I love doing these oldie guitar lessons. Please send me more. And once again, guys, please do me a solid and please, please, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, share my videos with your friends, and spread the word about Guitar Made Easy. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next guitar lesson. Thanks.